DePell in round number one. Three five-minute rounds. Made up. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> well, he said he wanted to make a statement, and he just did with the first kick. Big I like that leg low leg kick. kick. Look at Kirill. Choosing to sh throw shots right down the middle of the pipe. Is there something to be said, though, taking an early shot just to get yourself woken up into a, into a fight? Not when it's a low calf kick. Brent, those things hurt like you would not believe, because it's hard to train that area of the body. I can't think of any shot that I would want to take to wake me up. <laughs> but I will say this, that Kirill has had to prepare for Buchecha's BJJ, and that probably has thrown him off guard a little bit, even though Buchecha said he wanted to stand with him. But he's doing just that, right? And also, Kirill's getting really close to him, too. Big overhand right, just narrowly missed the grill of Grishenko. One minute into this heavyweight fight, Almeida and Grishenko. Oh, shoots in, gets the single, pulls guard into it, goes after the leg. He goes, I should run into the heel hook. Oh, that's quick, that's quick. quick. First round, one more finish. I told you, I told you when it hit the ground, it wasn't escaping the round, but I didn't think it wouldn't escape the minutes. Grishenko has to take in the opening round. Kuchetja strikes again. It gets no better than that for Marcus Almeida. Holy smokes, here in Singapore, we just saw a quick one in the heavyweight division. I wonder if it was Kuchetja's game plan to draw him in to the strike. Thinking that was going to be what he was trying to do, only to earn that takedown more easily. Look at this, shoots in for the double. Pulls him on top of him, throws up the Ashigarami, traps the leg, goes to work on the heel hook, and the only way to get out of that is either tap or it's gonna snap. Do you know that your grappling is that good when you shoot a double and roll to your back? Luchetta, in all his glory, takes down one of the most exciting young heavyweights in one championship and made it look easy against Kirill Grishenko. Singapore Indoor Stadium to make it official. Inside the circle, it's Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Herb Dean, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and four seconds in the very first round for your winner by way of heel hook, Marcus Almeida. Lucetta remains perfect in MMA here in one championship, and it only took 64 seconds with a heel hook and a tap from Kirill Grishenko. The Dragon standing by with Buchecha. I am here with your winner, Marcus Buchecha Almeida. What a beautiful Ashi Garami to heel hook. Take a look up here at the big screen. I want you to tell all these people here in the Singapore North Stadium just exactly what happened. It was so fast, they might not have missed it. Yeah, be honest, that wasn't the plan. Uh, shot for a take it down. Uh, but if I kind of lose my balance, but I try. <laughs> sorry, sorry. For you guys, uh, I kind of lose my balance, and I saw the leg was there. And a lot of people think, oh, Bushesha can't take me down, can't take me down. But I said, who said I want to take somebody down? You know, I trust my Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu is not just top game. I show you a position, right? If I'm not wrong, I show this position, so. <laughs> Second time, I always, I, so we kind of like, I knew that could happen. And so happy, you know, the, the job's done. We'd like to say thank you very much, my coaches, Roger, Cattell, Leo. So with all these guys, of course, all the, all the my, my team, American Top Team, all my training partners, my coaches, uh, Evolve MMA for all the support as well. So I'm just so happy, man. Uh, of course, most of all, like, really important. I want to say, Kirill, thank you very much uh, to accept the fight and to keep in the fight. So I know how hard it is. I try to do the same. You know, I have a lot of respect. When I sign something, I want to get the job done. So I had a job to do here, and I came and did it.
Buchecha, I know that this training camp, this match was extremely important to you. I can see you're overwhelmed with emotion. Why don't you tell the fans, the people at home, on Prime Video, exactly what's going through your head and your heart? <sighs> it's hard to say, it's hard to talk, but these last three weeks was the hardest time of my life. I lost uh, one of my best friends. The guy was a brother to me. I lost in a tragic way. So, uh, first thing I was trying to pull out of the fight, but for sure, he's up there, he's in the sky. If I pull out, he would be really mad at me. Uh, he wouldn't be like, mad at me because I'm giving up my dreams, my life because of him. So for sure he would be like uh, yelling and like from somehow, but I know now he's out there at least celebrating and having a breathe here, some <laughs> celebrating my victory. So uh, it's just so hard. I know this means a lot to you. You've been cruising through the stacked heavyweight division. You got another finish. What's next? I know you want to take some time off, but is there another heavyweight you have on your radar? What do you want to see the next time you're standing inside the circle? Be honest, like I didn't even know how I did it, like to keep this three weeks training. My coach, he saw me there, like I was training and crying every single day. Like I didn't know how I did it, but so I learned with him that we have to live the life. He always tell to me like life is now. So, you know, I just want to think to, about today. I don't think about tomorrow. He teaches us, like, it might never come. So, I worry about today. I don't want to take a, take a rest, and I don't even care anymore, you know. I think, show how small we are, so I don't think about that anymore. Like, uh, I know you want to take some time off, and you deserve it. You've had a very active 2022. But as a huge thank you for everything you did inside the circle tonight, Chatri Sid Yatong's dropping $50,000 into your bank account because of that incredible performance. Tell us what's going on. Oh my God. Uh, thank you so much, Chatri. I just want, I want to say, like, like, I'm just so happy to be here, to be fighting this, this cage, this organization. So like, I feel blessed to have this opportunity. So I love to be here, I love to be in Asia. So thank you very much, Chatri and One Championship for the opportunity. Everybody trusts me since the beginning. I think now there's nobody doubting anymore. Buchecha is an MMA fighter. He's not just a grappler guy. Of course, grappling is my background. That's what I trust. I have better than all the heavyweights. So I'm here to stay, I'm not going anywhere. I can't wait to see you back. I know the people at home and inside the stadium are anticipating your return. Take some time off. Enjoy the gift from the chairman, the CEO, the founder, Chatri Zinyatog, and we will see you very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Marcus Buchecha Almeida. Chuyển động cùng Võ Việt.